Did you hear it? Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful. We, uh, we should hear it again. Let's hear it again. <laughs> We're, the whole podcast is going to be your theme song. Well, welcome everybody. It is another episode of the Pot of Wine, uh, and I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Jenkins. But this time, we're together on this track with our very favorite podcast. It's actually a real podcast where they actually, and it's a real podcast because they they you know they they talk about things that um, are funny, are actually funny, and they and sometimes um, they're substantive, and often they help people, and um, we just sit backstage and talk a lot of shit. I'm talking about um, um, said favorite podcast is, guys, we fucked. How did yes. I do? You that did a great perfect. job. Thank. You. What an intro. I've been looking forward to saying that for a while. <laughs> I'm no, glad we, you had your moment. What a night. We loved hearing it. But you got to get the right tone. Guys, we fucked. That's good. That's got some belly in it. When I was, in, <laughs> when I was on your um, podcast, mm-hmm. um, what I remember about it was that there was a lot of um, you asking me questions of like, let's get down to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you were shy. Let's talk about being famous and fucking. We wanted yeah. to catch you off guard a little bit and right. it didn't work. And, um, nope. and here's why. This is why I think that was the case. Because um, it's, called, it's called guys we fucked. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not chicks we fucked. No. Right. And I don't think it helps. I think my whole thing is, besides the fact that I'm like entirely, completely, 100% private, mm. um, you know, a gentleman, mm. it's also, it's also, it's just, I'm a helping verb on a show like that. It's not my turn. It's not my turn. It's okay. just not my turn. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you're the guest. It was your turn. Yeah. No. I, I, <laughs> I think I can like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do we? By the way, this is exactly <laughs> this is exactly what a pot of wine um, podcast is, which is is like Chris sets up all of his fancy shit yeah, and like fancy. eight cameras, and then they all fuck off. <laughs> they That's what they do because they know this podcast is going to get ruin your career, and they're like yeah. they only want it to be your career that's ruined. <laughs> if I was if I was as famous as you, there's not a chance in hell I would do a podcast. You're brave, and so man. honestly, I respect this a lot. Well, yeah. I told you before the great thing about um, the pot of wine. Is you can say whatever you want because no one listens to it. <laughs> You're going to jinx it. You're like, going to jinx you know, it. To the 11 this. of you who are blocking this podcast, <laughs> enjoy the meandering ride. Oh, man. Yeah. It's funny because actually when you told us about it, we intended on listening to it. Got to be honest, still have it. Yeah, but the theme song rules. You probably could, couldn't even find it. We, well, we found it. Um, oh, did you? Yeah. yeah I Apple. typed it in as soon as you left. It exists. You don't have to listen to it. It's exactly <laughs> like this. No, we lived it. This, this is fun. Is, okay, this is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we do shitty British accents for a while. So oh. we'll do that for 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm really impressed that you can talk after that show. That you have the energy to talk. Yeah, That's you wailed. incredible. You were screaming up there. You were fu- you were on fire. You should tell people where we are right now. We're at uh, Jones Beach Theater in New York. Yeah, back, just very backstage. The most oh my backstage God. I've ever been. This is yeah at a concert, and I've been backstage sometimes, but not this backstage. Yeah, this is the best backstage. The best experience backstage for sure. We just watched you rock out. It was fucking incredible. And there's so many guys hugging in your crowd. Yeah, I love man. They're all love. late for the gangbang. <sighs> That's a shame. It's not guys we fucked. You're the one who said it. Yeah. TikTok, TikTok. Um, well, thanks. <laughs> I was like, is that kid still sleeping next to me? No. Okay, <laughs> cool. For, yeah. The kids. <laughs> <laughs> this a sleeping child is gone. No, we can talk about gangbangs now. Um, I know. I the, um, move, yeah. the, the, uh, the Jones Beach experience is honestly one of my favorite ones. I wasn't, I wasn't being, uh, you weren't lying to the audience when silly. you said this is your favorite place to yeah, play. I'm trying, I'm looking Good. for the right word. I wasn't being smarmy or something mm, or, or what is it, like a uh, pandering nonsense. Pandering. Yes. Yeah. You no, I really mean that. I love, I love Jones Beach. It's so weird. Uh, where are we? We're in like Long Island. Yeah. Yeah. Is it because it's on, on the, the water? What about this venue do you like? I like, um, well, did you know that Jones Beach is actually uh, built exactly to scale as one section of the Coliseum in Rome? Oh, no, I did not. No. I it's, it's amazing. I was it's like, did you make that oh, up? Wow. I totally made it up. I, I, like, I feel like someone would have mentioned right. that. 
<laughs> I'll trust you no I'm more, so Stephen. I'm so stoked that I got through that. Yeah. So Uh-oh. this is, this you is, got some acting chops. <laughs> this podcast um, is just spreading misinformation. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. That's, yeah. I love it. It should be more popular. It's the pot of wife. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> yeah. Um. So um. So yeah, I'm really glad you guys came, and I'm glad you got to see the show, and I'm glad that you liked it truly because, um, it's different every night, and I, I felt like I was struggling for focus. Yeah, you said that. I, I didn't notice that at all. You felt really in the zone. I want to be, I want to be like, just entirely locked in for mm. two hours mm-hmm. and have nothing else in my head Time except disappears. for, yeah, except for the feeling, the, the the feeling of of like embodying the music. And I noticed there were like little cobwebs coming in at places. So sometimes I would like, you know, I would just like, kind of jerk myself shake them off so it was your own so thoughts not the, at- not the atmosphere up oh, see you're distracted already seriously fuck you guys like honestly are you all gonna just i'm talking about my bandmates talking about like you you, you, get, you get going. we're going this is cooking. We're already in the highlights right now. This is yeah. so meta. He was literally talking about how distracted he was today, and in the middle and of that, he got distracted. Me. Real, um, a true artist, Stephen. Enough of this there shit. There he is. Thank you. Here comes crazy. <laughs> there I'm going to have to clean up Colin's shite, though, before I can even sit down. He is a messy he's little fuck, isn't most, he? Is, I, you know, I thought Stephen he looks, was a pig. <laughs> he's got he looks down. You haven't even seen a Colin. pig. Yeah. Me, I'm just like, um, I'm creative. It's different. <laughs> what what happens when you're no. out of focus on a show on stage? Like, is it do you think of, are you thinking of stuff, or do feelings pop up? Um, feelings are good because mm-hmm. because anytime you're having feelings, as long as those feelings are not uh, is worry a feeling? Yeah, I think it is. It's okay. a state of mind. Um, like yeah, you're anxiety. worried. Yeah. As long as you're not worried, as long as it's not that. It's like anxiety or worry. Okay. Any other kind of feeling, um, you can use that as a tool to enliven the vocal, Mm -hmm. right? The song. Um, No, it's more just like thoughts would come into my head, and I don't want to be thinking anything. Like what kind of thoughts? Like, oh, that sub I had earlier sucked, or like. So I watched my manager Missy walking, um, and I just watched her walk. All the way across the arena. She freaks out that I always know where she is exactly. <laughs> but that's what codependency is like. Are you guys <laughs> codependent? Um, I mean. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> that's a yes. I don't think we're codependent. But you offered a, the I information. I do want to know where she is they're, at all they're, times. They're more symbiotic than codependent. It's a nice, that's way, a nice to way to say, say codependent. Yeah. Right. That's, that's what, what I said about my life. I'm like, we're symbiotic. He doesn't know what that means. So he doesn't know that I'm saying codependency. <laughs> Codependency okay, or, or symbiosis. <laughs> oh shit, he doesn't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Also, I feel like it's you, easier to get distracted in a in a completely open theater because even mm-hmm. like as watching it, it's easier to get distracted because you're outside instead of inside. Where were you sitting? Yeah, but we that's, need more that's, lasers. That's the trick, though. You have to you have to not try to visualize the show from the audience's perspective because mm-hmm. you have to be yourself and. With your band and in just get world. into it that way, you know? So. Yeah, tell him that. Yeah. No, he's a pro. He's a pro. It's just because Missy was here, that's all. So God, she's God, so she doesn't come to every show? She She's just here because it's East Coast show? She doesn't distract me. It's just New York. I don't know. It's also that we just did... What was the, what How many five, shows in a row? Five shows in a row. Woo! In, yeah. in a row. Like yeah, in a row. Consecu- that's oh a lot. And so it's... You just... We do that. We go on the row. We'll do like... We'll do an hour set five times in one weekend and I can't talk afterwards. That's why I'm, I'm so impressed that you guys have the energy to, to even look us in the eye. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, you have to... Plus, when you come off stage, you get depressed. Yeah. Well, you're comics, so you're just... Depressed all the time? <laughs> Lay it on, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I, love, I love making depressed co- uh, comic jokes <laughs> when I can. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're sad <laughs> clowns. Glad, glad to be yeah. here so that you have this opportunity. Yeah. I'll cry on cue. <laughs> I'm actually not really sad, but do you get sad? Do I get sad? Yeah, like after as of late. Sh- after the show. I get, I, I basically, my day on tour has this dip in it where I get kind of mopey and depressive and mm. I don't really want to be around people and it, it doesn't help. Yeah. Um, and that's, 
I recognize that that's actually just gathering. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just getting it all together. And if you're somebody who needs that, just protect that space. Yeah. See there. Okay. See, that's guys. We fuck stuff right there because that's helpful. Yeah. That is definitely not pot wine because one thing that we don't want to do <laughs> is help people uh, is be helpful. <laughs> don't slip into that. Yeah. Sorry to be a bad influence yeah. on yeah. you. Oh. I, I, I will say just like you've not listened to my podcast. I have not listened to yours. That's Great. okay. That's fair. We're even. Give me the, give me the, the 15 second. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what, what you guys do, why should they listen to your podcast? By the way, that's a good time for a break. And welcome back to Guys We Fucked, <laughs> which is... <laughs> the anti slut Jamie podcast. It's, well, Corinne and I started out interviewing a guy that one of us is fucked. Uh, Corinne went through a really bad breakup and, you know, the best way to use that energy is to make something creative out of it. So we started interviewing a, guys that we have had sex with. And we to learn about ourselves, and then it just it just sprawled out into interviewing people who are sex workers, uh, sex surrogacy, um, be, talking about. There's just so many topics under the umbrella of sexuality that you you'll never run out of things to talk about. And everybody has a relationship to their sexuality, wh regardless of whether you're asexual, bisexual, whatever it is. Yeah, the original pitch was Howard Stern for women. Yeah, I think we said girls at the time, but we were, that was like ten years. But now ago. we're women, oh, well. so. Network. It's been ten years you've been doing it. I mean, almost. It's like eight years. We're close. We're a, uh, one of the like longest running podcasts that are oh, known. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty available cool. now. Did we sell you? Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. All right, cool. Yeah. Nice. We're also a Third Eye Blind's favorite podcast, so it's not good so, that you yeah. got on the mic. Yeah, that's that was true. Nice. <laughs> Fuck that one off. His favorite podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to specify now. But I can just I can just stamp the name on things that I like. Okay. Because yeah. uh, we've Love been it. really tell we've been really using that. We we updated our Instagram oh. bio. We oh, were yeah. very proud of this. <laughs> so. Third Eye Blind likes sausages. <laughs> uh, says. <laughs> Whatever you need to say. I'm really enjoying the, uh, oh yeah, we don't have any sponsors. Mm, this I good. assure you. Um, well, actually, we've got a couple coming I up. I guess you kind of do, huh? We have a couple coming oh, up. Oh, really? Chris, Great. Yeah. Chris, oh, I actually introduced you tonight because I really like, I liked two of your solos. Uh, How many solos did you Chris, have total? About 14. Uh, <laughs> wow, the rest of them sucked, huh? But still. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a high number. He's like a dad. He could never uh, say he's he's proud of you. You just have to keep. I don't know how many souls, how many souls there are truthfully, three, but there's, <laughs> there's, there's more there's, than two. There maybe three big ones. Right? There were yeah, two of your. So I'm just saying the two of your solos tonight. I was really like that's kind of the shit. Dust storm. Thanks I thought was really good, and um, funeral singers. Oh yeah, yeah. I just like it that you just kind of like you just kind of just. Do I was whatever feeling, you're feeling that one tonight. Yeah, I just decided to go a bit. I felt the feeling. A lot of I I wasn't felt listening. the feeling. Yeah, yeah they're always good. a bit different. So that's nice. Did you enjoy the show tonight? I fucking loved the show tonight. Yeah, I was tonight. I was. What makes a good show for it. you? Uh, just when the band are just we're all just in the flow. You know mm -hmm. that what what athletes refer to as the uh, the zone. Yeah. Right, and what it actually is is the zone of potential uh, improvement. Right, mm -hmm. to where you're almost there yeah when, uh, when you're an athlete so uh oh it's that is that your full of shit meter <laughs> <laughs> i just was I, I just aspirated on sake oh. <laughs> we should get okay. sponsored with sake continue talking about your zone um so that's <laughs> damn for me yeah athletes. that's, that's athletes. It, where it's what like, you, you know, know about athletes <laughs> and just and just about what what from hanging out with you mate but fucking the the thing about like Anxiety. Stephen was saying, like, not to have worry or anxiety be part of your physiology when you're on stage. I find yeah. that that's almost identical. The actual physiology of it is almost identical to excitement. Yeah, it is. So your nervous system sure. is doing the same right. thing. So it's just like framing it for yeah. me. You know, when you get that's into meditation and stuff, you start to. Well, I don't know if you guys do that, but you, I do. I've meditated. Yeah, I got a. Um, see I how do. to frame things in the world. Do you do? I got a um, a mantra for. Uh, What's the fucking, uh, why am I brain farting on the type of meditation it is? You have to get a mantra from like a person. Uh, uh, transcendental. Transcendental. Yeah. transcendental. yeah. But you can't tell anybody what it is. No, I hate it, that which shit. makes me go, 
are we getting all the same mantra and we can't say shit about it? Yeah, oh, you don't you make it up yourself? Your, you yeah. can't say your mantra? And you I just, nah, there's no way. Because some fucker would tell somebody else. Yeah, no I profoundly dislike that idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, it feels... Oh, I thought you make up your own. No, you get a mantra Because I make somebody. up mantra. Well, I mean, I don't do that type of meditation. I just make up mantras. Just really like little things to say to myself. <laughs> but I just don't like... Yeah, that rule that you can't tell anybody. I'm like, well, that makes me want to tell people. Feels like a God. cult. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Yum. Yeah, cool. like they you work, tell they your work guru one that works, and they just like <laughs> I they tell, tell everybody. The I tell my guru, and then he touches me inappropriately. Well, that's why I've never oh, gone on an okay? ayahuasca retreat because I don't I don't trust the the guy who's there to help you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've never seen yeah. that yeah. movie that's before. Job. Yeah, mm. he's a blindfold guru. On. He's a guru. Right. He guru. Used to be a, well, he wasn't actually in coding; he was in marketing. But now he's a guru. Well, did, did yeah. you ever get one of those cult leaders who like? Decides that like, now he's going to fuck everyone's wives. Did you ever get one of them on your podcast? No, but I would you love that. Should. I would love that. And I'm obsessed like, with that. They tend not like, to do like interviews where they just say that. We're going yeah. to take a non-judgmental <laughs> right. for about 80 seconds. He they hasn't don't wanna... spoken in 40 years, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but he needs to fuck all your wives. Oh, Tell us God. about how you're a piece of shit. Oh, hey, God. You know, do that. Wow. Which is lame. I feel like we got to have those conversations, but. Okay, excitement. Versus worry, excite, nervous excitement, right? Okay. okay. Right. So framing it, I'm all down for nervous excitement, but that's yeah. about that's about getting kind of jacked for what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Worry or like is Future. to me, yeah, something else that's not here. It's like anxiety is like being off somewhere, like some someplace else is like comes in and occupies your screen. Yeah, that's not helpful. Okay. And yeah, because you're not in the moment. The other thing is, is that so often I think we play our best when we're just like, you know, don't care. Fuck this show. Yeah, fuck this show. Right. Yeah. So don't we'll think. actually, when we get nervous before really big shows, like we we filmed um, a show at we we did a concert film at Red Rocks. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we had all these problems, and it was really early in the in the in the tour. This tour, we weren't ready, and our lighting guy literally quit. Oh, that day. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not good. And I had a <laughs> terrible migraine where I was like vomiting. Oh my god! Blind, blind, and vomiting uh, at sound check. And something happens to my ability with like to access words, so I can't really talk, yeah. speak. So I'm just this dumb, blind, puking. <laughs> Blathering with no, with idiot. No lighting guy. Some, some would say blathering idiot. Well dressed. No, I, would, I wouldn't say that, but some. Uh, no, I get it. Migraines well, is well the only time I can't perform either. I can, I'd rather perform drunk or hungover than with a migraine. I can't think. Oh, don't perform drunk. I'll tell you that. Well, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't, but I'm saying like I could. We like, never do. Right. Have you ever performed drunk? Ever. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. So Everyone's know, done yeah, it. That's how you I find out. I did one out. time. Yeah, that's how you find out. It's this. like you remove all your faculty. But yeah, not, no. with, <laughs> not with third eye blind though. No. <laughs> really? Never. Oh, that's cool. No. I tell you, the only person I know who can play drunk and he's not done it with third eye blind but is our bass player, Cavi. Because he, he used to play in Vegas and he would do this fucking thing where they'd go in and play every pub on St. Patrick's Day oh. from like 8 a.m. And they'd get paid in fucking, I shouldn't speak out of school, but they'd get paid in booze. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and yeah, some yeah. money, and some yes. money. That's wow. the life but of a by, comic. By, by 11 o'clock at night, he was fucking, <laughs> you really are, you really are speaking out of uh, I know school. comedians what? though that can do shrooms and do an hour, and I'm like, what the well, fuck? Well, you know, I went to see that? I went to see Dave Chappelle the night after he I had was that just crazy <laughs> fucking right when he was like, I'm gonna bomb, I can feel it. Wait, and did he was he on shrooms? No, he smoked some reefer. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. He the next the night, the next night, I went to see him, and uh, he he came out and he was like, last night was something, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sat down at the front of the stage. It's a pretty and good just Dave talk Chappelle for like two hours for an Irish guy. Yeah, we were yeah. impressed. I'm yeah. Not, yeah, I'm not bad at doing Irish. Irish. Nations. Well, yeah, we had the opportunity to open for Dave Chappelle for one weekend. Yeah. And by opportunity, I mean he basically, we were we were headlining a club that weekend. Dave Chappelle called the club and said, I want to headline that weekend. So they called us and they were like, can we kick you out? But you could open for, for Dave night. Chappelle. Yeah. He said you can. And we were like, great deal. Uh -huh. We love this. This is better than us headlining. Um, and he drank like, I think an entire bottle of was it sake oh, or was it Japanese whiskey? It was Japanese whiskey. Yeah. And then oh, packs of cigarettes and so many blunts. And he crushed. Brilliant. And I'm like, fuck. It was really. And we partied afterwards. Incredible. And I'm like, wow. Seriously? Really incredible. He runs on. He has so much energy. 
Because he's Does excited, he? yeah, he's really excited about about like just comedy and the and Fuck the yeah, and no. the spoken word, and he's very poetic. He's very, he's fucking, he's got a beautiful mind. He I love is that something guy. else, that man. Yeah, yeah, really is. And he gives a shit about moving the needle and like figure, like diving through his own psyche in a way that I really like. Mm. He's unlike anybody else out there right now, right? He's almost I like a say. preacher meets a comedian meets yeah. a philosopher meets a. Yeah, he's like George Carlin s too. Like, I've, if you guys mm. watch that George Carlin documentary, I haven't seen it yet. Incredible, but, uh, it's really I was, good. I was reading an article about him, and I was utterly blown away by how insanely fucked up he used to get. Yeah, like, back when no one knew cocaine was bad for you, he would, they were going two week benders. Yeah, just him and his stay wife stay awake. Yeah, yeah, for like thirteen days. What? Something like that. That's what it said in the article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, they I went through like psychosis. Yeah, like psychosis. Oh, I was like, I didn't even I, know you could stay up that many days. I thought, I thought it was like I thought four. The, no, it's I thought the very record was, funny. I thought the record was 11. It was in the military. Really? Oh, the Guinness. It, it was like in wow. the military or something. They were doing like sleep deprivation. Who was George Carlin was? No, he wasn't. He was a hippie. He was a. Yeah, he was not. Who are you talking about? No, the, the guy who holds the record for longest. Oh, you uh, just moved on to just random people doing cocaine? Yeah, it's a pot of wine. Come no, on. no, there was How no cocaine. Nah, I, don't, I don't know how they kept I couldn't even keep up with that. Pot of wine. Colin's here. Colin's going to jump yeah, in. Yeah, Colin's here. Uh, Everyone just looks ready, so Colin excited thing. to podcast. How was your show, oh, Colin? I'm going to check. Here comes Colin Creepy. Oh, here he comes. Put these on. I felt like you and I had some... Tried to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hello. I thought we had some, like, <laughs> moments. I'm yeah, I think, I think I'm... Give me that. You'll never pay attention. No, but I I want to know what your mantra is. This is great. I don't want to tell. I don't want to say it on pot of wine. I can say or mine. whisper it in his ear. I'll whisper. I'll whisper. <laughs> my isn't it their podcast too? Isn't it? I can't. What's yours? Is ours? Well, he he he, he you played gonna, your guys' theme song. I just said my mantra. So what the fuck is wrong? That's with your mantra. Uh, that you were given. Wait, what the hell? Did no, you just no say? one's gonna give me a mantra. You have, to, you have to pay for. You know, it. I used to go to. I used to be. Um, I used to be. I used to. I used to go to this Zen school. Okay. Mm. I went I went through this really bad breakup and come here. Oh you little puppy. Um <laughs> and um so I, I went out to this Zen center in Green Gulch Ranch and they did all these things there. I, I it was really helpful, it was really great. But then they had these other things where you'd give you a name and I was talking to this woman and I said, So what name were you given? And she goes, Diamond Courage. It's like a stripper her, name. That's her name. <laughs> it's like a stripper name. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage is Diamond Courage. And I and I and I, and like I um and I said, uh, huh. I think mine would be wanders off and misses it. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been to a Zen camp. A camp? Clearly. Because um, you're Zen as fuck. My, she didn't think it was funny, <laughs> and I realized that she hated me in that moment. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh. What is Buddhist about that? Yeah, you know? I have a sense of humor. Yeah, you gotta have a sense of humor. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zen stuff is really I fucks with that. There's something to that. So do you? Yeah. So the name Fuck they gave me with it. The, the name they gave me at my Zen camp was Rick Rubin. Wow. <laughs> really? Why? Is that a joke? <laughs> I hope it's if a it joke. Is, it's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that guy that was dry as fuck. That yeah. guy is zen as hell. He just sits yes. around and fucks with his phone. Let's be honest. Come on, Rick. Rick Rubin. I'm He's trying like, to get. To, I'm trying to get. He to goes level, to the studio. Yeah. yeah. Now here's the thing, though. The guy can listen. He's really good at it, but he does fuck around on his phone a lot. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Unlike you, yeah. Not me. Do you fuck? <laughs> yeah. How often? Oh, that's an interesting. How often are you looking at your phone oh, during the God, day? Yeah. I love looking at my phone. I like television. I like Twitter. I like looking at my phone. Why do, fuck off everybody who thinks that that's bad. Netflix is great. There's a lot of choices. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, well, that's fine if you're watching like actual TV on it, though. Like, I'm talking about just, like, scrolling through Instagram like mindlessly. Like, mindless, doom scrolling. Just yeah. like, yeah. Like, like the, the, the app designers made the Instagram app to like, a, to, like, hook you in. So that's why. Have you ever closed Instagram on your phone and then opened it back up? And you're like, what? Why did I just fucking do that? Yeah, it's like when you go to the refrigerator to get a snack and then you close it and then you open it again and hoping something better is in there, but it's not. Yeah, that you don't was, feel that? That was the entire pandemic. Mm -hmm. And it was super helpful because... I was trying to get information. About what? 
You like space? The I saw pandemic. that. Oh. Yo, space rules. <laughs> no. You were just in. The, you were just space in. is the shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right now, I went to space camp. That fucking. That's how much I like image. space. Good for you. Thank you. It was one of the best experiences of my life. Truly, really, really fucking fun. Love NASA. I would love to work for NASA if I was a little bit smarter, but let <laughs> me do this. I set limits on my apps um, to kick me off and I ignore them every yeah, time. Yeah, so I that's the same what I, thing. Exactly, and, and then I feel bad. Day. Yep, I'm like, wow, Christina, way to have willpower. I think it's actually cooler because it's like someone's telling you, oh, stop, and you're like, no. No. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So bad today. <laughs> What's your limit that you set for yourself? Way too low. It's like 30 minutes or something. Oh, oh I, did two, I did two hours. No, on Instagram alone, and then I think a combination oh. of Twitter and something else is I, I put another 35. Uh, I did two hour combo, I think for TikTok, Instagram, is something and Twitter. else Tinder? I hate TikTok so much. Really, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not on TikTok. But Your band things, is. Things come to me. From Do you TikTok. know that? No, I've never seen anything that we've done on TikTok. Well, Third Eye Blind is, and I tagged you guys today. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've never even downloaded it. I mean, every time, every once in a while, I see something that's really kind of witty on. I think it's ruining. Anyway, the I think country. what we've all the comparison thing, like the way the human brain loves to compare. Is like that's what feed it gets fed. Even though you can have access to like these brilliant minds on social media, like you, oh my god, with these so many people doing great things, but then you just get like it's like a mind suck. It can get to be a mind suck. I feel like when you're already famous, you can just use it to have fun. But when you're still trying to become more famous, it's it exhausting. feels stressful. Yeah, yeah. Are you trying to become more famous? Yes. Why would anyone try to become famous? I don't know. Wow, it sounds fun. It should be a byproduct of That's you. That's so zen. Putting yeah, what you like, putting your shit into what you love. Someone went to zen love, camp. I Someone love. Fucking to tell me camp. what I should should do. <laughs> I love that you say that, but I oh, have always oh, been yeah. very outward. Oh, being famous should be a byproduct. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, get the yeah. fuck. God. I mean that shit. But that's why I like Andy Warhol because he was the first artist that I ever read about who was like, I unabashedly want to be famous. I'm not, I don't care what anyone says about that. And I well, appreciate that. Shit, I like that actually. Yeah. yeah. But I, mean, I care very much about what I do. I, I spend so much time working on my comedy. Yeah, like I, I give a shit a lot. But I think it's turning, TikTok is turning all my friends into cringe content creators. Oh, so this is a personal me, issue for you. We got to the no, root of it. No, just in general. It's like, I think if you have something really dope going on and you have insight, but other people are just now seeing this and going, oh, I can do that. I'm going to do that dance. But they yeah. don't have anything to offer really, which is a little fucked up to say, but it's like, I don't care that you're making cookies today, Jim. Yeah. Well, it's like how Uber is like, anybody Enterprise. can be a driver. <laughs> and then it's like, you know. I, I bet you every last single one of them has... Um, more followers than the pot of wine does. <laughs> I bet you for sure. Now I want to see how many followers yeah. Third Eye Blind has on TikTok. Yeah. I'm I don't so think we have any. You have, have to have, have some. Like, I think we so follow you. We're not very social. Because they're all Chinese bots too. But what's really cool is that in this moment, yes. right now, yeah. uh, inflation is like 11% or something. Okay. And it's really it's hurting abusive. like our fans. Specifically, it almost sold out tonight. Like we could have just Beach. we could have just said that it did. Um, yeah. Now it's interfering with your ego, and that's fucked up. No, what I'm trying to say is that we don't need socials. Yeah, we don't need record companies. Yeah, we don't need radio. We need fuck all, and I think the only thing that we need is is uh, Spotify. Yeah, yeah. So people have true. access to your music. Like nobody watches our videos, so we make these little. <laughs> I do. We watch them. I love our videos social? now. Yeah. When, you know, when we were on Electra, we'd make these like big pricey videos. Uh-huh. I, I, uh, uh, for what? They just embarrass me. Yeah. And uh, now for like less than the price of the catering budget <laughs> on those videos, we make videos. Chris makes a lot of our videos. I love them. Yeah. And then they're, they're, they're personal to you guys. Yeah. They're heartfelt. Well, it's nice if someone in the band is and, creating them. And nobody watches them and I don't care. And yeah, because what I care we, about, we watch them just so you know. Yeah, we, we do. We like them. I we love watch the videos. Them. Yeah, Great work. I don't even watch them. All right, I well, watch you them. Guys, you wouldn't. <laughs> you guys are the least supportive of each other. I've watched. I've watched You're the like video comedians. for funeral North singers Falls like, <laughs> like twelve times. It just partly it just comes up on my feed, so I'm like, well, there's nothing else to do, and I watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't there's have. Scene I don't in have there, your attention span. There's, there's a scene in there where you you um you singing the super like. uh super high part like screamy part and then you're done you take your your headphones off and then you kind of laugh at yourself Aww. and i think it's the most calling thing and it was captured on film that's beautiful Which, what is that 
Funeral singers. Oh, okay, yeah. Doesn't listen to me at all. <laughs> it's funny. It's Colin's world. Well, welcome to the BBC. <laughs> the Queen. <laughs> was most pleased at the Third Eye Blind concert. Oh, this is the British <laughs> part. We were warned about this. Oh, wow. You British. <laughs> Nailed skirts of the city. See, I told you they're really shitty British accents. That was yeah. they're, they're not Thank great. You. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. That's great. why nobody watches our <laughs> shitty podcast. Yeah, yeah British people we're don't like when dope. you do shitty accents. <laughs> All of a sudden, just, hello, <laughs> hello, governor. So, what uh. is what is your guys' stuff about? Uh, oh, guys, we've already thoughts? talked about. That. Okay, sorry, that's bad. Yeah, question. yeah. Edit this out. It's sexuality and feminism. Cut that part out. Just this is cool. Yeah. What are you doing? This. Oh. Is he cutting sake. you off? Is this, I know you. I know the way you operate. The sack. The sake is over beside you over sake. here. Sake. Oh, I thought you were. Are you, I thought you were saying he's had enough. How many bracelets do you have? Oh, I bring that back. Um, do they meet? Like, do they have different meanings? Um, no, it's just kind of like summer. I think that's fun. <laughs> don't you, that's don't nice. you like to put bracelets on summer? I like, like rings. Like I like be, rings. Yeah, I can't wear rings. Why? Oh, because guitar and shit. The the meaning of mine is that Stephen told me to wear them. <laughs> wear this bracelet you have to have a little bit of um no but the first day i wore it chris came over and like touched me on the arm centrally I'm, I'm, on thank stage. you I'm whoa sorry. that's why he wanted he to said i like this on you and wow so, so now i'm into it you know okay nice my mom told me that <laughs> Wait, the way to pick up girls is <laughs> to be yourself <laughs> that's a good that's a good piece of advice it's uh, terrible it's terrible not working piece of advice don't ever do yeah that. you come off as very sweet well how old are you also if you don't mind me asking it's mystery Mm. Oh, you don't tell your age? No, I'm 30. He's over 14. I, okay. just, I had a crisis when I turned 30, so I'm trying to forget about it. You're fine. What happened? You're a man who's 30. That's yeah. literally, you just became attractive. Then the yeah. other thing he said was, you have to have, um, this because this is where this comes from, there has to be some... Bracelets. <laughs> some details. Okay. To the girl, to the person you're talking to. Yeah, that was yeah. his idea. So that's You're, not where this came from. Flair is correct, though. Flair. That's what, that's what Flair. Mis Mystery, the VH1 pickup artist, Flair. with yes. the big hat. So much Flair. He, that's why he wears the big hat, okay. because it's Flair. Okay. It stands the, out. You stand it's out. the pickup artist. That's the dude. That he has that's a big ass hat. That's the guy I talked to. So, okay, because okay, he's kind of tall, long, dark hair, like a, like a real sight to see. Or no? I don't remember. Well, it didn't work. You really pay attention, huh? What do you mean? What? Well, that's his whole thing is that you're supposed to remember him. <laughs> so it didn't work. Well, his flair didn't really work on me. Is it, you didn't remember. It's like a huge like mad hatter hat. I'm not totally sure that that was the guy, but <laughs> flair. I do remember the touch of flair was kind okay. of the vibe. Okay. And the point is, is that I didn't think that it was generalizing. I didn't think that it was objectifying or, or anything else. Yeah. I thought it was actually... You know, you really can't go wrong, wrong with, with friendliness. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. there are some broad things that are true about humans. Like, are you into Robert Greene? Ugh. Is that the art of seduction guy? Yeah. Art of seduction, laws of 48 Laws of Power. Yeah. And so I think the things that he says about human beings, you know, they're te technically generic because they're about everyone, but I don't think that what he's saying is generic. I've never really heard other people say the kinds of things that he says. And he's very generous with his time too, which makes me like him. Yeah, the artist's seduction was a weird, that was a weird book. Cause he was like, you know, you want to approach your victim. And I'm like, eh, victim. He, he, he said in a podcast that he wanted it to be offensive. He wanted it to ruffle. Really? Why? It was part of the, that's how you get shit done. Uh, Why Eminem got so big is because like half of the moms in the fucking <laughs> world were calling like, what is, what is trash? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. It's, a ta it's a marketing tactic. Sure. And his, his more recent books are not as like cringy. Ah, I think okay. it's smart. Yeah, 48 Laws of Power is He's good. He's growing. Well, I like 48 La Laws of Power, but then I'm reading this stuff and I go, I, I can't do half of these things. It's yeah. too manipulative. It, yeah, it feels manipulative. And it's like, that's not how I want to interact with people. Yeah, it's like, right, but don't work hard. And I was with like, people, eh. just, just being like the presumption of friendship. I don't see that as manipulative. No, I don't see no. that. No, that's we do fine. say that's on Guys like We Fucked, we always say no grown man wants to be your friend. Yeah, but see, is it manipulative if you're going over presuming friendliness, but you really just want to fuck? Like, do you actually have any interest in being friends? You could be friendly friends? and want to fuck. You could be, but are you? But you don't want to be friends. You want to fuck. So I certainly don't want a lot of new friends. I don't want as many friends as people that I want to have sex with. I Math definitely mathematically. don't want new friends. <laughs> Why? You, guys you know why. 
Huh? Well, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> That's your version of podcasting. Oh, you God, know I just the made answer. These, I just made all these new friends. Uh, like, uh, you know. Yeah, now we're talking to each other. And we just all texted. We're on a, we're on a group text. It's very funny. That's overwhelming. And it goes on and on and on. <laughs> You're on your phone anyway. Your idea of friendship. And Steven has left the group. <laughs> Okay. Like you one new I mean. friend. I take on in my I take on like one new friend every like 5 years these, <laughs> this time. And like but I really like I they I really love the people that I take on. I had mm. the um I had the the uh the urge to raise my red solo cup and cheers you. Oh. For that. But actually <laughs> I'm just saying that because um I I seem to make new friends and I'm open to being So you do like new new friends. Yes. Yeah. What was when you've seen what was the newest friend you've made? This is going to sound super cheesy, but I, I'm like starting to consider you guys new friends. <gasps> Thanks. Well, that's good because we've been considering it and telling people for a while. Because <laughs> we. <laughs> Wow. Thank God we have some backup. See, that's how you land a fucking joke. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't want to be Check friends. Check that with out, okay? Uber Timing, motherfuckers. What? You hate Uber drivers. I don't hate Uber drivers. Who I, says I hate Uber drivers? Why do you always make me pick you up at the airport? Well, because that's he wants your buddy. He wants the buddy to pick because you we up. We never get to. We don't. It's a love language. No, it's because you don't. You it's you don't like want to make I, friends with the Uber I, drivers. First of all, I like Uber drivers just fine. I respect <laughs> people who work. First of all, I don't want to have conversation. Yeah, and you don't um, like the forced aspect. I of like it when you pick me up from the airport because that's our friends. that's our time to you know bro down. Well, it's that embrace that we have when I see you. <laughs> you see me slow motion. Do you run towards? You each drop other? your bag. Ooh. You run to me. Oh, your hair blows in the wind at wow. Burbank Airport. I trip and fall on the way. <laughs> you pick me up. We embrace, and then you do the dirty dancing lift. Yes, and then we get my now ah. broken Kia Soul. Oh, the Kia Soul, good for you. Oh, this band doesn't pay well. well. <laughs> Damn. Uh -oh. Pay scale down. That's good. <laughs> Recession, baby. <laughs> I've had it for a while. I'm gonna run her into the ground. I might be there already. Well, you guys, I can feel the pot of wine winding down. <laughs> We didn't get cavy. <laughs> no. I want to jump into the ocean. You do? Yeah. Because it looks muddy. It's an ocean. No, it's, it's a muddy. It it's like a it's like it. I don't know. Do it's you really want to go jump in the ocean? Yeah, kind of. Are we gonna bring all this shit with us? Yeah, get your GoPro. Yeah. I feel like you just put it on an iPhone and then you attach it later. Huh? But who am I? <laughs> Look at you. You get a cut from that camera to that camera. Yeah, I would love to so see these angles. Wait, I'm just now realizing how many fucking cameras you have. That's a lot. It's going to be a bad angle Wait, on me for all of them. That's too. a really annoying. <laughs> is that annoying to edit? All <laughs> you go, go hey. through all the footage? <laughs> no one sees this. Nobody can hear you. And I'm <laughs> no one sees this podcast. this podcast. We know the truth. <laughs> what I would like to say, though, is I believe that we have delivered another pot of wine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. How many minutes did we do? The average I saw was like 15 minutes. For Are pot of once? Yeah. Did we surpass that? <laughs> we had to have. Probably. Oh, well, the longest episode in pot of wine history. The, uh, the, the quotient of uh, <laughs> attention span. We haven't cut sure. it down yet. What about post? Yeah, we. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. Was it because I revealed that he's the lowest paid member of the band? Uh, soul. Well, <laughs> anytime I'm talking, we'll probably be taken out. But <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I'm used to it. Actually, I, I like it. Oh, Dude, you like you, it? You fuck. You deadpanning the <laughs> shit out of this thing, man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, can we talk about? Um, no, we're done. Hey, no, no, we're back on. <laughs> we could go to another two hours. Um, <laughs> and can we're we back. talk about Collins? Can Coming. we talk about Collins' stage presence? Oh no, so, it's okay, so nice. Let's go. all let's all go in a circle right. and critique it. So he's got a <laughs> he's got a beautiful jawline. What did you love? What did you hate? <laughs> We've literally I, I, never been in a balance. I love his I love his jawline. He's got that, it's right? It's a good one. Yeah, he's sharp. Got like, he's got like a mad wizard vibe. Okay. That's going on. Yeah, a little Harry Potter. He's got, yeah. right? Yeah. He, he has hit. a boyish charm, which I think is uh, for uh, me like, charm. don't care. Yeah, I think it's like, you. it brings a youthful vibe to the energy. Not that you're not youthful, but, you know, visibly youthful. Sorry, Steven. Okay. <laughs> well, and thanks this for is coming <laughs> on the pot of wine <laughs> for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I had a great time. He's younger than us he too. He's fire. younger than he, us. He's younger than us. It's um, nice. We like we like to have people in their twenties hey, work with Junior. us. 
Um, <laughs> you little, you, little made, guy. No, you made it like, weird. Everybody in the band has got this like, um, everybody in the band plays with their body, mm, right? All the yeah. way, all the way into it. You gotta. Well, you don't because, because Colin's got a whole different thing. And I'm, he's more contained. Something. Anyway, he's a handsome devil. Um, do you personally like if you know if there's a new m- member being added to the band? Is it who are you like reaching out to friends? Who's doing that to get new musicians in the band? Yeah, yeah. if you need to. I've never understood how it happens. Oh, you're <laughs> not. This, you have no don't you have to approve? But them? everybody in the band, you have to mesh with them. You have to have chemistry with them. I often have some thoughts. Um, <laughs> uh, everybody. It's actually been in this band for a long time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So Colin's been in the band since he was 10. Yeah. He's in, been here since the first Harry Potter. <laughs> that's, that's a while very ago. Very sweet. Aw, that's cute. Let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop both of these podcasts. No, fuck no. What? Yeah. Um, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move to the post-show part of this Let's post-show. Let's jump into the ocean. What's the post-show post-show? Um, we stop recording. Okay. And, and then we're never to be heard from again. <laughs> and then we, uh, yeah, we, we move on. We, we Send the some, footage to my mother for the funeral. We have some cake. <laughs> cake. Which button do you press? Cake in the ocean. Thanks very much for coming to the pot of wine. And this is so fun. Tell them to listen to our show because um, it'll mean more coming from you. Um, I want the 150 of you who <laughs> listen to the pot of wine That's a lot more to than definitely a check out guys we fucked because i think it's a fantastic podcast and uh it's very funny and um i learned things for 20 bucks what are our names <clears throat> <laughs> this is the best clip on your social go 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 oh my god Wait, that wasn't fair that was I amazing whole, was he might have guessed that was it right. amazing um, I did you just remember it from when we introduced hey, ourselves? Which, hey, wait, 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 That's wait, wow. wait, wait. That's I, why you're doing which, well. Which one is which? Yeah. You, you pointed in the middle. No, you no, pointed, no, no, pointed, no, no. pointed, pointed at you. Christina. I pointed at you. That one Correct. over there. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> I've known you guys for a long time. Um, <laughs> We're friends, but he just calls us guys we fucked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, right. No, hey, I guys, just want to call you. Okay. <laughs> You know all I have to do? All I have to do is take all I gotta do is take the headphones off. And you're off the pot of wine. That's what works. <laughs> Ta-da! Where'd right. Steven go? He's like the a little kid in Big Daddy who puts on sunglasses and is invisible. Oh yeah. I do those. We'll give you those. That was fun. What an episode. All right, well done. Thanks very much. Thank you. Great, you're like, great work. We're not gonna use that shit. Throw them down. That was fun, that was good. That was great. That was really good. Just out all the parts that you want so it could just be a monologue. All great. The pot of fing wine with third eye